Hi everyone, this is James. Today I will talk about the structure of a simple JSF web page. This project you can see on screen is from my last video. If you have never seen it before, please check my last video. I have made some modification to the file index.xhml and you can see a new head section here. But there is an edge and a column just in front of head. It's a new namespace from JSF. You can see there are many different namespaces on the top of the page, such as H, UI, and F. But today I will just talk about the H namespace. It stands for HTML, means we can use it as a real HTML tag. A JSF page will be compiled on the server side and output to the browser on the client side. You can see I just add a title between two head tags, just like what you did in your own HTML code. And also you can see a body tag here and the H1 tag here. The only weird thing is that there is an Output label tag here. Let's run it and see what happened. We have to wait for about 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds. Now you can see that the page works just like an original page. But how can a JSF page communicate with the backend code? Let's talk about it in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and give me a thumb. Thank you.